Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to round seven of the Elimination League Racing Series. We are here in Monza in Italy today. We've got a banger of a race on our hands. We've got a record number of people actually participating in a event. There are 17 drivers, three drivers making their debuts actually. Now let's see what happens. It is a Haas front row lockout. When do we ever say that? And here we go, the lights aren't even out. We are underway. It's a terrible start. There is a Haas just not moving on the grid. Don't know what happens there. Oh my God. Immediately, there are cars into the wall everywhere. There are so many spins. Lots of cars having some problems at the back. And there we go. It is the beast who's in the lead, the current championship leader, who is level one points of Chardini. There we go, called Red Bull Ricky Boy. Going side by side with Sammy through the curve of Grandi we go. And into, almost into the first actual breaking zone with no rules. Here we go. It is the two Mercedes out front. Then Ricky Boy. Then Sammy. Then Marco in his first race. There's a Haas that has gone wide. And there is, oh, and has he going to go wide again? And he spun. Sammy has spun. He started on the front row. And halfway through the lap, he's now in the gravel. And, oh, and there's a Ferrari. And there's another Ferrari that's crashed. Oh, my God. And, oh, my God, the Williams at the back. Oh, there are so many cars that have gone off. This is such a chaotic start. There are just cars everywhere. And that is Bucken that is apparently leading from the beast, from Ricky Boy. That's, oh, the Bucken. The, all right, Bucken is disconnected now. So that will be an easy pass for the beast. Bucken, he probably will return at some point, but for now... Yeah, and oh, he's going to push Marco into a wall. His eyes played. Has it somehow, Marco has held on to position. Uh, not sure how he's done that, to be fair. As they're going to absolutely send it through Ascari, over the gravel, over the grass. Oh, someone's gone off. That was, I think it was an Alpine that went off at Ascari and hit the wall. Oh, here comes Ducky and Blackberry and Ice Blade. Got a nice little slipstream here as, oh, the Ice Blade with the brake chick. Oh my god, the barrier. The barrier just points you into the wall. And Blackberry's still on the back of Ice Blade. Oh, look at the two Mercedes. Going almost side by side. And that, the Beast is going to hold on to the position. He is currently P3. And it is bucking the lead. Oh, there's a Red Bull just facing the wrong way. And going backwards, apparently. Um, that's pretty interesting. And there's a Mercedes of Ice Blade going slowly. He must have had a, some kind of incident. As, oh, there are just so many cars that have, like facing the wrong way but here we go the beast on marco little battle for p2 they're gonna almost go wheel to wheel look at the slipstream there's just a train of cars and i think the three braking zones really do help with the slipstreams oh my god what the hell there's an alpha romeo just going the wrong way and now he's ducky he's up to p3 almost up to p2 as well if he, he's done it he's gone down the inside of the second of the lesmo corners and he's through and up to P2. And then it's Blackberry. And then it's Marco. Look at the slipstream. Oh my. What? <laughs> Whoa. What the hell just happened? I don't even know what just happened there. That was just interesting. Oh, they've touched. The Mercedes and the Williams. That was the beast. And <laughs> oh my god. Just a, a little bit of a spin there. For the Williams of Blackberry. And the beast continues in P5. Oh, Sammy. He's back up into a podium position as Marco tried to brake check him there is so much going on right now here goes marco oh my god the brake check from sammy although somehow marco is through and sammy has been spun into a wall the brake check didn't work for him i'm see chardinho and the beast the top two of the championship currently level on points the beast goes for a brake check but it's not enough to stop chardinho oh but it is this time and chardinho is into a wall and has been held up by quite a lot Oh, there is a Red Bull. Oh, that's the race leader, Bucken. And Ducky takes the lead of the race after... Oh, my God. There are so many cars just stopped, like, under the bridge of this straight. Um, I believe that is... A, oh, my God. That does look to be a deliberate move from the Red Bull Ricky boy. Oh, my God. Oh, my, oh my God. There is an Alpine upside down. Um, this wouldn't be the first time you see Ricky boy trying to hold up some drivers. As, oh, there's a bit of a pile up on the straights. As, oh, <laughs> I'm honestly, I'm lost for words. There's, oh, here we go. Chardinho on Sammy. He's weaving, trying to avoid the brake check. Now he's going to go wheel to wheel. Sammy is still just about ahead. Can Chardinho try and get in the slipstream and get ahead through Curva Grande? And, oh, he's going to switch. 
to the outside. And oh, he's gone off track. Oh, he's in the gravel and he's in the wall. And he is now in P8. In fact, P9 now. That, that move did not work out, to say the least. Meanwhile... And, the, oh, their two cars just stopped. Uh, they do seem to be trying to hold up some drivers. Um, I don't know why else they would just be stopped facing the wrong way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Uh, who's got, they've got, we've got quite a lot of cars coming towards them as well at the moment. As, uh, I think that was Ice Blade that just went through. And there's Guga on Bucken. They've, uh, they've touched, and Guga is going to go down the inside. And he's now into P4 as uh, it's just the car going backwards between them. Now, that would be Guga's best finish yet. Although we cannot speak too soon as there is there are just so many back markers that are having a bit of an impact and there are the two Red Bulls having some contact and Ducky, the race leader, is into the pits. And then goes enhanced threat round the outside of the Williams. Lovely move. He's up to P6. His debut race. Oh it hasn't gone too well for him. It was his Red Bull teammate just stopped on the track and that was a pretty big accident. As there's Ricky Boy going backwards, and there he goes into the Ferrari and into the sky. Uh, and there goes the beast into the pits, the current race leader, as he hadn't pitted yet. And Ducky reclaims his lead on the medium tyres, and it's looking good for him. Uh, uh oh, his teammate is just. He's just chilling with Ricky Boy as there goes Ducky past all of them. As oh, the house he's touched. Wait, what? I swear he was under the grandstands. What the hell? Oh, reload that, reload that. He had a little spin. And then look at that. He is underneath the grandstands. And then teleports back onto the track. Only in this league could that actually happen. As there is just an Alfa Romeo facing the wrong way. As all oh, there's Red Bull going backwards. Oh, what? Okay, the beast just wasn't going to have it. Just pushed him out of the way. I'm not sure how that happened. Oh, the Haas. That's not a nice barrier to wall ride. And the Sammy. Is into the barrier and he has spun round. He's down in P8 now. Uh, it's not been a great race for him. Look at that. We've got the two Alpines fighting for a podium position. And Ducky. Ducky is in the gravel. And that means that Bucken is now leading the race after Ducky. Probably got caught out by some back markers. And all oh, the Alpines are touch. And they have both spun round. The Beast. Where has he come from? He is up to P3 now in the podium positions. Making a nice little recovery. As, oh my god. <laughs> oh, it's an Alfa Romeo that's gone around. Oh, Ricky Boy is just taken out. I think that's Sun Boy. As, oh, and he's taken out Sammy as well. <sighs> These back markers are just built different. Here comes the Beast. Oh no, not the Beast. Here comes Ice Blade on Marco. Hasn't quite worked out. Here comes Ice Blade once again on Marco. Oh, he's been spun round at the first chicane. Now he's facing backwards. Which usually doesn't help me in trying to overtake someone. Oh, Goog has just gone round. He's in the gravel, probably due to a back marker. And wheel to wheel, Blackberry and Sammy. And Sammy's tried to hit him and ended up in the barrier. Not for the first time. Here comes Chardini. Oh, there's... Oh, oh, there's... I There is so much going on. Oh, my God. What is actually happening? There's just two laps left. So many incidents. Oh, Bucken. Bucken, the race leader. He's just been crashing until he spun around. Here comes Ducky. Ducky takes the lead. On the second last lap, surely he can now win. And the Beast goes through to take P2. Oh, no, he doesn't. Bucken is still in P2. And here we go. We've got Chardinho on enhanced threat. And oh, my God. The Red Bull has just been swiped out. And that definitely will help Chardinho to get ahead of him. And there is a Mercedes Ice Blade round as well. And there is an Alpine that has just been crashed into. There is so much going on right now. Here goes Bucken, who's P3. There's the Beast ahead of him. And the back mark on Maka between them. And he's just had a little bit of a spin at the first chicane. As, oh, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> Sammy is just going sideways now. Um, that sums up this race, to be honest. And he's just gone through over the gravel into the back of McLaren. Look at how many cars are in this part of the track. Oh, <laughs> slight contact and a small spin for the Red Bull there. And here is the Ducky. Surely he's going to win now. He's nine seconds ahead. This will be a fantastic result for him. This will definitely help him. And no, he's been crashed into at the final corner on the final lap. Can he recover in time? Here comes the Beast 
Ducky, he's still in the wall and he's been pushed by some boy. The Beast takes the lead on the final corner of the final lap and someone tries to take him out. That is, will not be enough to stop him. He wins the Italian Grand Prix and Ducky, who was leading for so long, is now in the gravel trap and he will take second place, but that is going to hurt. That is really going to hurt him as, oh, he's been pushed into a wall by Williams and he does take second place. Oh my God, Buckens so nearly stole P2. Look at that. Just three tenths the gap was in the end. And I've got Marco who's going to break check Chardinia behind him before claiming P4 in his first race. Good result from him. Chardinia, who was joint top going into this race, takes P5 and he will now be, I think, P3 in the championship. All right, you know what? Let's do the exact same thing again, but a shorter race with simulation damage on. Let's see what happens. We've got Mucka starting from pole, and it is a pretty cautious start for most drivers. And it seems that we are cleanly away, actually. Oh, no, we're not. No, we're not. That's a big crash. Oh, and another one. The Williams of Sunboy into the wall. Shane is out. Sunboy is out. But it looks as though everyone else is cleanly away, kind of. Um, see. Oh, <laughs> you just see the tyre just fly across the screen there. Bakken is now also out of the session. And he got a podium in the first race and he's out of the sprint. And Guga is also out of the race as well. As, oh my god, that is where he's had a crash. He's in a very dangerous spot. And, oh, we've got Ricky Boy just reversing down the pit straight. And Chardinho in the back on there. Wait, Chardinho is out from that. He went so slowly into the wall and he's retired. Ah, oh, he's had the worst of luck. It's not been a good weekend from here. Sammy, oh, the brake check on Maka. Oh my god, it's actually worked so well as well. The Tifosi are not going to like that. And here we go, we've got the two Red Bulls once again having a, a bit of beef as, oh, they, they've nearly touched. Oh, they have touched. They have touched. They're into the wall. Are they both out? Ricky Boy is out, but it's only him that is out <laughs> after they had a, a bit of contact. Oh, we're going to send it over through Ascari. And who is that? That is Raph that's out for the session as well. Looks like he's had an incident by himself through Ascari. Oh, the Williams Blackberry. Oh, he just touched. He just touched Raph. And it took him into the wall. He is out of the session as well now. Eight drivers left. Oh, we've got Ducky and Marco. There could be a brake check. There is a brake check from Ducky. And Marco is out of the session. Welcome to the league, my friend. Welcome. As, oh, enhanced threat. Also out of the session. Just six drivers left now. There's been a lot of retirements, actually. We got onto the final lap. And here is the beast. It could be a great result for him if he could try and survive. Uh, but he has got Sammy ahead of him. Oh, and Sammy taking him out. Just as I said that, Sammy has just swiped him and taken the championship leader out of the race. As, oh my god, Sammy is out of the race as well. Oh, wait. Wait, no way, no way. How has he survived that? How has he survived that? That is one of the worst crash I've ever seen with simulation damage to survive that. That is crazy. But Ice Blade is gone from the brake check. But he's ended up in a metal barrier instead. And there are now just four drivers left. And we are on to the final lap. It is going to be the Ferrari of Sarah who is going to be the first player to survive the sprint free for all. And that is a good result for him. Ducky, that is a very big result for him. He now closes the gap of the championship. He goes to P2, just four points behind the beast. And we have this driver whose name I cannot pronounce, who gets 15 points on his first race. And Sammy has survived a lap with a puncture and he is the fourth and final driver to survive the sprint free-for-all. And it has been another incredible round of racing but more sort of fighting really and brake checking. And it is the Beast who is still top of the championship but look at the gap now. Ducky is only four points behind on 141. Chardinho is 15 points behind the Beast after he had a pretty unfortunate weekend especially in that sprint race. And oh, if only he had one of the lightest crashes in the sprint free fall. If he didn't have that, it would be the Beast and Chardinia both on 145 points with Ducky just four points behind. But there are still plenty of chances for him to close the gap. There are three races to go now. The next one is Singapore. I'm very excited for that one. Hopefully you are. I will see you at Singapore. Thank you for watching. <laughs>